Hello and good day grade 8 students and to all the students out there. Good morning, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tin May. Siyempre, ang kasama mo sa iyong science journey. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. In our lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about the things that you should do before, during, and after typhoons. What to do before, during, and after typhoon? Before, help your family check and fix your house for any damage, especially the roofs and windows, so it can withstand the strong winds. Remind your family members to stock up an adequate food supply such as rice, canned goods, and foods that would last even without refrigeration. Stock up an adequate supply of drinking water and water for cleaning or other purposes. Prepare flashlights, batteries for flashlights and radio, candles and kerosene lamps, or other lighting devices. Of course, prepare a first aid kit. Always monitor news about typhoon, whether on television or radio. If the power is cut, keep a radio on and tune in to news. Help check and clean your community drainage system and canals to prevent flood. Check your electric post to prevent accidents. If you notice some impending danger due to weak electric posts that might fall, report this to the electric company so that they can reinforce it right away. Remind family members to cut all branches of trees around your house that could possibly fall on your house. Help check all electrical warnings. And teach younger members of your family what to do during a typhoon. And of course, pack a bag with clothes batteries, flashlight, water, canned goods, and other necessities in case you have to evacuate. How about during typhoon? Stay calm and be alert. Stay indoors. Postpone any plans of travels or errands. Monitor the weather reports. Check what is happening around you. When local authorities advise you to evacuate, do so. Move family pets and valuable to a safe place. Turn off gas bulbs, electricity, and water when safe to do so. If you happen to be outdoors when a typhoon comes, stay away from electric posts and wires. Never stand under a lone tree, in an opening field, or to avoid being hit by lightning. Never fix your TV antenna during a thunderstorm. Stay away from boats and from bodies of water and enter the nearest safe shelter. Avoid staying or going to low-lying and coastal areas that are prone to floods or storm surge. Be ready to evacuate if necessary. Leave your house as soon as you, you realize you are not safe. Boil drinking water or have some bottled water ready. Monitor flood reports and predictions. Okay, what to do after typhoon? Have a knowledgeable person inspect electrical wiring before using electrical appliances. It is usually advisable not to use appliances immediately after a typhoon, especially if your house got flooded. Check for any damage, including water pipes, and help make necessary repairs as soon as possible. Boil water before drinking it to avoid getting sick. Wear slippers, shoes, or other footwear for protection from any sharp or pointed objects that might have fallen. Avoid electrical wires that have fallen. 
Stay away from floodwaters, they carry waterborne diseases. Many people who have survived a storm but brief flood waters actually have been hospitalized, not just for injury for injuries or diarrhea but also to the deadly leptospirosis. Leptospirosis is also known as Wells syndrome and is caused by bacterial infection when dirty water contaminated with animal urine, commonly rats, comes in contact with a person's unhealed wounds or scratches, newly pedicure nails, a person's eyes, or with mucous membranes like skin, nostrils, mouth, lips, eyelids, ears, genital area, and anus. Clean and clear everything damaged by the typhoon. And last, stay in a safe place with a means of escape. This is the end of our discussion about understanding typhoons. So stay tuned on this channel. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 8. So again, see you on my next vlog. Hanggang dito na lang. This is, a, this is me again. This is me, Teacher Tin May. See you on my next vlog. Bye! Subscribe ka muna!